The NAPLAN Individual Student Report, provided to parents and carers, shows their child's result in each of the NAPLAN tests compared against national standards. All education ministers agreed to important improvements to how NAPLAN results are reported from 2023, so that all Australian children get the best out of their schooling. It means clearer, more meaningful reports for parents, higher expectations for our students, and earlier results. The questions in NAPLAN tests are based mostly on the literacy and numeracy skills students have been taught in previous years of schooling. And the report shows a summary of the skills and knowledge assessed. Let's have a look at an example of an individual student report for a Year 7 student, Jessica. The report shows four proficiency levels. Exceeding, strong, developing, and needs additional support for each assessment area. Numeracy, reading, writing, as well as spelling, and grammar and punctuation. In this example, the arrow shows the national average for Year 7 students, and the light green shaded area shows where 60% of Year 7 students across Australia are currently performing. Now let's look at Jessica's results, which are shown with a black dot. As you can see, Jessica performed well in reading and in writing, achieving results in the strong category. This means she has met expectations of where she should be at her year level at the time of testing for both assessments. Her results in spelling and in grammar and punctuation are in the developing categories, meaning she is working towards what is expected at her year level and highlights the need for more time and focus for Jessica in these areas for her to meet expectations. Jessica's numeracy results indicate that she needs additional support and has not yet demonstrated the numeracy skills expected for her year level at the time of testing. Jessica's parents or carer may wish to discuss her progress in numeracy with her teacher who will have a good understanding of what additional support Jessica might need to continue progressing satisfactorily through school. Jessica's teacher is best placed to discuss these results, as they will have an understanding of her learning progress generally, as well as how she is doing in other school-based assessments. On page 4 of the report, you can read a summary of the skills expected at each level for each of the domains, including the needs additional support level, these can be helpful to identify ways to support Jessica's learning and numeracy. More information about the National Literacy and Numeracy Assessments, including detailed proficiency level descriptions, is available at www.nap.edu.au.